all just 18. What are your thoughts as an artist on cancel culture? Okay. What are my thoughts as an artist on cancel culture? Um, I would, I'm going to speak to this from the perspective of a comedian. I've noticed a trend with comedians that a lot of comedians come across as on the far right because they're pro uh, freedom. And I kind of want to explain that to people like, why are all these comedians like seem like they're like Trumpers? They're not, they're actually not. Um, Comedians are pro freedom because their entire career depends on saying crazy shit. (laughs) You know what I mean? So um, from what I experienced, comedians are very passionate um, about the topic of cancel culture um, and are very passionate about freedom of speech because like I said, their entire career depends on being able to say crazy shit and being able to play with the boundaries of, of, of saying crazy shit. Um, and that's true. Like, you know, people like Dave Chappelle and, you know, those type of people who say controversial things and get in trouble, their job is literally to like figure out where the line is. And, um, most comedians will admit that there is such thing as crossing the line too far. And that is a possibility. But the thing is with the art of comedy is that you don't really know where that line is unless you try it. And then the only way to try it is by doing it in public. Like you can't try comedy to yourself in your bedroom. You can't even just ask one person because one person's opinion isn't going to represent most of the public. So like literally the only way to try out comedic ideas is to use a live audience. So the idea of cancel culture and saying the wrong thing is really terrifying for comedians because it's like our art is literally dead if we don't have the right to say what I, what what we want you know what I mean because like saying what we want is the only way to grow this art so in a nutshell my opinion my opinion on cancel culture is that I agree with that sentiment of the comedians um because I've experienced that myself I mean literally just like like a couple seconds ago in this podcast I was like terrified that I said the wrong thing even though everything I said was my genuine opinion I was like scared that I because I, I, I don't like I'm not hip I don't keep up with everything I don't know like what like I feel like I might have said something wrong you know what I mean so um it's kind of like a terrifying feeling um I guess more thoughts on this is that I personally had already talked about this on my podcast about Joe Rogan. When it came to like a lot of the cancel culture things and the people who, you know, society was trying to cancel, um, for the most part, I just kind of buried my head in the sand about those types of things and didn't really speak my opinion on those things. Um, It wasn't until the public started attacking people that I like that I was like, wait a second, I'm fucking pissed now because... If it's somebody I don't care about, it's not my business, right? Like, I'm not involved. I don't, and, and that, that's selfish, but it, that's the truth is that these people who were getting canceled were people that I didn't know, didn't give a shit about. But when the whole controversy came out with Joe Rogan, all of a sudden I like pepped up and was like, wait a second, what the fuck? And because I felt like, well, now cancel culture is fucking with the people that I love, and that's not cool. Um, so, kind of, I, I did a whole podcast episode about that. Maybe I'll actually include that in the you know a link below to that episode if you want to go back to it because I was very descriptive and vocal about what my thoughts and feelings were um and I don't think I could like reiterate all those feelings right now because it's kind of behind me and I'm not as passionate about it but to kind of reiterate what happened in a nutshell um I felt like I felt like it was personally I personally felt like that whole thing was unfair because you know in case people don't know the controversy um, Joe Rogan had been caught in a clip using the N word. And then that clip circled the media. And I felt like that was a very false representation of him because the clip that they used was from a long time ago. I don't know when it was, or I don't know what year it was, but all I know is that it was old. It was definitely more than five years old. You know what I mean? Because I had personally been watching well before i get to this part let me explain this a lot of people saw this clip of him using the n-word and he's a white man you know if, if, for those of you who don't know a lot of people saw this clip of him using the n-word and just assumed that that was him like they just assumed that that was his personality that he was just dropping n-word left and white left left and white oh my god left and right on his podcast um and that was that was him 
And that wasn't the, the truth, in my opinion, because I had personally been a huge fan and I had been watching him for the past like four or five years. And I had never once seen any type of behavior like that. I've never seen him use the N word. I've never even seen him use it in a positive context where he was just like describing a song, like, you know what I mean? With the N word in it. I never seen him use that word. Um, but again, these clips circled the internet and there were rumors going around by people who didn't even watch a show, by the way, that was the ironic thing. People were like, he's been using the N word for 10 years. And it's like, no, he hasn't. I've been watching his show for the past four years and I've never seen him use it once. So, you know, in my opinion, I think I think cancel culture has a place for certain people who are extreme. Like, okay, Bill Cosby. Like, cancel that motherfucker. <laughs> like, he's, like, drugged and raped people. I don't want to listen to his comedy anymore. It makes me sick. It, it's too dark to watch. I can't watch it anymore. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's like, it's, it's gross. You know what I mean? But in an instance like Joe Rogan, where he used the N-word a long time ago, and it wasn't even, and again, this doesn't make it right. I'm not saying this makes it right. But if you actually look at the context in, in which he said it, he, was, he wasn't he was like bashing, he wasn't using it in a negative context. I think he was using it to describe the word and like the, um, the power that that word has. You know what I mean? He was like kind of using it in that type of context. And again, not that that makes it okay, but it's just understand that back then I don't think people understood that that wasn't okay you know what I mean like a lot of um a lot of the black lives matter you know stuff started coming out recently and a lot of people a lot of the the movement with the black lives matter stuff was confronting people to admit that they were engaging in behaviors that were racist and they didn't know it like that was the, like one of the biggest things of the movement was um well I mean obviously there was much bigger reasons like you know the police the way blacks were treated in the police force and everything like that um or, or the way the police force treated them that's like a whole different story but after that incident you know with the george floyd there was a lot of then further you know trying to re-educate white people that hey you've been engaging in racist behaviors and you don't even know it and we just want you to admit that like we don't want you to say you're a bad person we just want you to honestly look at yourself look at your behaviors and admit where you were wrong and i'll be honest i know a lot of white people that i've heard use the n-word in my life and like for similar reasons that that joe rogan had used it back then in that clip um and they didn't realize like they probably didn't realize the power that they had you know what i mean like that that how offense they didn't realize at the time how offensive that was and um a lot of those people owned up and admitted like wow i was wrong so i don't understand like why people would take that one clip out of context and label him like that and not allow him forgiveness. Again, I think cancel culture has its place. There are extremes. Had there been a man who is repeatedly using the N word and never apologizing for it, never realizing he was wrong, continuing to use it now after all this, yes, cancel that motherfucker. But uh, cancel culture is dangerous because it it's it's like a smear campaign it's like it's like a political smear campaign people catch somebody doing something and they go gotcha let's use this one incident about them and just describe it to them as a whole and you know try to take them down from it i don't agree with that i think people need to have a little more forgiveness for for people and have a little more forgiveness for the people as a whole um for example one girl that I knew personally that was promoting a lot of the Black Lives Matter um, stuff on her Instagram, she was a white woman. I knew her personally. The irony of this is that, I mean, she was every day with it, like on her Instagram stories. And it's funny, this actually ties in with the other question about is it equality or is it just special treatment? I should have used that as the example. This is like kind of like a crazy example. But this woman, I'm not going to say her name, but every single day on her Instagram, she was like, you're a piece of shit if you don't, um, you know, fight for Black Lives Matter. You better do this. You better say this. You better... It, it was like, kind of like bullying people to do this, do that. White woman, same woman, I worked with her, got fired for using the N-word like five years prior. So that's just like the irony of it is like, uh, should she, should we not forgive her? Like, should we just say... Oh my God, she used the N-word five years ago and she got fired for it at her job. So now 
she's not allowed to change her mind and she's, you know what I mean? She, she's forever a piece of shit. Now she wants to support the cause. She feels bad. You know what I mean? It's just like, I I don't know. It's, it's like, I just think there needs to be deeper thought put into these types of things when they happen. And people, people need to be a little more gray and not so black and white about these issues. Um, to me, the Joe Rogan issue was a much grayer issue than people made it out to be. And that's why I think the cancel culture could be dangerous for those reasons, because, um, you know, some, some really genuine good people who are helping a lot of people could be taken down from one mistake. And I don't think that's fair. I mean, just kind of like put yourself in those shoes. Imagine if you were a public figure, figure, (laughs) imagine if you were a public figure and you were constantly on camera all the time, like whether you're a podcaster or you're being interviewed constantly by people, are you on your best behavior all the time? You know what I mean? And, and you could say, Oh, but you're a public figure. You should know better that even they fuck up. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like they can't be perfect all the time. Like I was just reading this the other day, by the way, apparently Obama was like a heavy smoker, (laughs) like a heavy cigarette smoker during the white house. And I guess what I'm trying to say by this is like, not everybody could put up this like perfect image all the time. Eventually everybody's going to crack. Eventually everybody's going to do something dumb, say something dumb. Like their darkness is going to come out sometimes, you know what I mean? And that doesn't define them as a human being. We all have darkness within us. Um, So again, I think it's a matter of like recognizing that person's reaction to their dark behaviors are they going to deny it and say like nope this is me and fuck you you're all wrong that you got offended or are they going to own up and apologize i think that's really the defining i think i really think that's the defining feature of a human not did they fuck up but are they willing to change you know what i mean anyways i got pat that's why i said like i didn't i don't know if i wanted to get in that one right after the other one but i am passionate about that because like i said as a comedian it is something i think about (laughs) 